Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for another week. This week I wanted to talk about something really difficult to talk about. It's about it being okay to cry. I've sat with a lot of people who have been overwhelmed with feelings. They feel like they want to cry, but they just feel that they're either stupid, that they shouldn't be crying, or they feel weak, or they feel like they're a burden to whoever they're talking to. I want to let you guys know that it's okay to cry. That's actually a very healing thing to do. If anybody's telling you that you shouldn't be crying or trying to cheer you up, that's not necessarily the best way to go about it. I feel that when people cry, it lets out that emotion. It's best to get it out. It's kind of like having some weight on your shoulders. And once you cry, once you get that out, once you tell somebody about what's going on, it is a weight being lifted. It's not weighing you down anymore. It's not affecting your daily life anymore. So I want to encourage you guys, reach out to somebody, somebody that you trust, to reach out to someone who's not going to hinder you crying. Just get all of that anger or fear or sadness or whatever it is that's making you cry to get that out of your body. And it is very important that you find somebody that you trust to tell this information to. Maybe you want them to keep it a secret. Or maybe you want them to tell the right people. Or maybe you need their help. Make sure that that person that you're sharing this information with knows what you want done with that information. Make sure that you're not going to feel dumb after doing this. Make sure that you feel safe to do this in the future because any bad experiences can hinder somebody from opening themselves up to someone else. It's just so damaging to the psyche and I just don't want you guys to be exploited like that and I want you guys to have that safe space. I would like to offer up myself for that role. If you trust me enough, I don't mind listening to people. I can just be there for you to get it off of your chest or get it off your shoulders or get it out of you so that you can feel better and that you can go about your day. And also something important to think about is where it's appropriate to cry. This whole message is to say that crying is okay. Like it's okay to cry about something when it goes wrong. It's okay to cry about something if you're happy or if you're angry, or if you're frustrated, if you're sad. It's okay to cry about that kind of stuff. Be aware of how it's affecting your work life or in your personal life and find that person that you want to unload that to and then just do that and it should help you feel so much better for everything else. Now that I've kind of gotten the message out, um, I wanted to share something recently that made me cry. Um, after I posted my video last week on Sunday, on that Monday, I got a call from my doctor and um, there's just been this overweighing thing for the past few months that there um, is something inflamed or a mass or something inside of my body that's um, around my reproductive area. So I was told that there was a mass there and he wanted me to go get a CAT scan, which I did. And on last Monday, I got a call from him um, and he was telling me that I had a bigger mass than what he thought um, inside of me and it was my ovary that was the mass. Um, if you know me at all, I haven't really had any health issues and that could be because I haven't really gone to any doctors in quite a while and I probably haven't gotten the checkups that I should have gotten um, but I've been rather healthy throughout my life despite being overweight but um, after getting this call he informed me that I would have to definitely have surgery to get this mask taken out um, and that he wanted me to get a blood test to see if it was cancerous or not um, so obviously at the sound of cancer I'm going to kind of freak out. Um, at the time I was at work and I decided to go to a safe place on my own and contact um, my friends and people that I knew would give me support in that time and um, they kind of really helped me through that. Um, but in, in that moment I 
in that moment, I was really sad. I was really scared. Um, and I was really... I was terrified. I Scared is not even a good word for that. I was terrified. Um, but I know that... Um, honestly, the idea of I could possibly have cancer is not really a huge issue for me right now. Obviously, that kind of scared me that day. But what's really scaring me is having the surgery. Um, surgery, to me, is a huge deal. And it's something that I never thought I'd have to go through in my young adult life. I mean, I'm only 27, so um, if that's something that has to happen now for my health, that's just, that's mind-boggling to me that this has to happen so young. So, um, that happened on Monday. I left work early, um, told as many people as I possibly could, any, any of my friends that I possibly could have told. Um, and it really got that off of my shoulders. It really, like, getting it out and actually talking about it, even though I was crying in front of everyone, um, really helped me. And, and I do really want you guys to know that I'm, I'm okay right now. Um, I say I'm okay as I'm starting to tear up, but I'm okay physically. I don't feel any pain or anything and um I'm I have so much support behind me that I'm just not even scared anymore. Um now it's just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen next and I really hope that you guys I'm still going to be doing my routine. I still have work. I still have um, these YouTube videos and everything that I'm going to be utilizing throughout this whole journey. And, and I'll be sharing my personal life as I already have in the past. But um, this, this will be a little bit more in depth. Um, and I hope you guys are along for the ride. I know that this message was really deep. It may have been really difficult to listen to or watch um, and I know that for me it it hasn't been too difficult to talk about it so if you have any questions or would like to reach out to me please place a comment below or send it to I am enough for this world at gmail.com I that is still open for this channel only and I will be able to respond to any emails that go to that <sighs> okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys have been uplifted to, you know, let your emotions out, share those emotions with the people that you love and the people that you trust. And I really hope you guys um, are on your way to emotional healing if you so need it. The guys who already have the emotional healing and already know what they're doing, please help those ones that don't know what they're doing and uh, need somebody to vent to or need somebody to cry with. Um, I encourage you guys to just help each other out this week and um, hopefully see you on the next one. Bye friends!